again, this is Jonathan Wafer, Regional Sales, Ostram Opto Semiconductors. Today we're going to take a look at what could be the living space of the future. And when we say the living space of the future, uh, we want to mix a few needs and wants and some psychological elements. For example, we all need and want good lighting to do our task to set moods. We all need, want, and must have efficient light sources so that we use less power, less strain on the grid, uh, and also maintain a relatively good level of lighting. So in this living space of the future, you're going to see some novel applications of LED technology that we envision will change the way you work and live and change the way you light your home. The living space is basically a kitchen setup and a den and entertainment setup all in one, one room. Um, to start off, we have a backsplash, which is illuminated in this case with a linear array of blue LEDs. These are high power emitters, typically outputs of in the area of 20 lumens, and they're designed into a linear strip, very similar to a fluorescent tube. Also, uh, we have an under cabinet light source. Many of us have tasks at home when we're cooking and we don't necessarily need the ambient light from the kitchen. We only need a little bit of light under the cabinet to do a task. This is a, considered a near-term application by DOE Energy Star and there are specifications currently being written for LED fixtures in this particular application. As we move along in our kitchen of the future, we have a novel concept where both the cabinets and the wine rack are illuminated with LEDs. The cabinets, as you can see, are illuminated with a strip of emitters on the bottom that are shining light up into the cabinet. Very nice to have a white reflective medium inside the cabinet to take advantage of the light and scatter it appropriately. A similar approach is done with this wine rack. Uh, both of these use strips of quarter watt emitters uh, mounted onto linear substrates. As we move forward in the kitchen, uh, you'll see we have a traditional cooktop and a fan hood that is actually illuminated with three one watt emitters. These three one watt emitters are putting out a neighborhood of about 3.2 watts and the light quality is equivalent to what you would get out of basically a 10 watt halogen. Not to mention these sources will last in a neighborhood of 50,000 hours which for most practical purposes is the lifetime of your kitchen. As we move over to the refrigerated area how many times have you been in, at night coming into your kitchen and you just want to get a glass of water? You don't want to shut on all the lights. You want to get a glass of water. Usually there's some indicator lights from your components uh, or your appliances that are already on, which will guide you through the kitchen. But here you can see we have an infrared solution that as you get close to the refrigerator, the lighting comes on for all the icons and all the indicators. And when you want your cup of water, all you do is press your cup up against this membrane and the illumination is done via one power dragon LED. Very, very neat concept. Moving into the kitchen itself and into the fridge, you can actually see this entire refrigerator has no conventional filament-based sources whatsoever. From the crispers that are illuminated with a linear array of LEDs, that array is basically our uh, quarter watt emitters in a strip. These products are commercially available on the marketplace, both as discrete emitters and as modules and subsystems. 
to the shelves that are illuminated with two dragons, which are one watt wide emitters, flowing through a light guide. As we move away from, from the fridge and we get back, you'll see that we have a very interesting uh, task light system that we've developed. In this case, it's the pendant light. And the pendant light features one of our six-chip O-stars. Uh, the six-chip O-star is putting out the equivalent of about 600 lumens. Uh, at roughly a 14 watt power dissipation. And we've created a very novel architectural feature uh, by using quarter watt smaller emitters that actually have the same emission wavelength and color coordinates as the cabinet. So in this particular case, we have color harmony within our kitchen area. Now, if you take a closer look up top, you see we are washing the walls. The walls are actually being washed with linear arrays of our Golden Dragon one watt emitter products. Uh, each linear array is, uh, power consumption is roughly in the neighborhood of six watts. So we're actually washing the wall uh, with around 50 watts on each side. And imagine that, 50 watts, 100 watts to wash the walls and give you a pretty good look at the entire room. You'll see that this color is actually a, a cooler white. Just by flipping a switch or using a different emitter, we can go with a nice warmer. In this case, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 3000 Kelvin, a nice warm white that we're accustomed to seeing when we use halogen sources in rooms that typically use a lot of wood. And by blending both, you can get a nice blend of, uh, of neutral white, which is very bright and also very efficient. Last but not least, uh, as we turn those lights off and we want to go with a traditional down light, uh, we have MR16s that have been basically retrofitted with our O-Star devices. Uh, these devices are daylight white, roughly around 4,000 Kelvin and are putting out in the neighborhood of 500 lumens. And as you can see, there's relatively even illumination in these three quadrants of the room that we have uh, top lit in this particular case with the downlight systems. So this entire room features all LEDs, all solid state. This kitchen should outlast the lives of some of the people who live in the house. That's how significant of a change we're talking about as we move forward in the next revolution, what we call solid state lighting.